So we're here in Nagpur, India. This is uh, where the Hughes Foundation headquarters is in India. And uh, we are hustling and bustling all day long here in Nagpur. We see a lot of things. We do a lot of things every day. And so we want to give you a scooter cam right now of a tour of Nagpur. So you can actually be on the back of the bike and see what we see all day long. There's some good things, some interesting things, and there's going to be some crazy, crazy things. But nonetheless, it's the Hughes Foundation team scooter cam. I say you sit back and enjoy the ride. Nagpur is the winter capital and the third largest city of the Indian state of Maharashtra. The Zero Mile of India is located in Nagpur. We're at Zero Mile. This is Zero Mile. So the Brits actually used this way back in the day to determine the mileage uh, from this point to all the other cities in India. These horses got stuck maybe, I don't know. Nagpur is known as a green and clean city. It's the second greenest city in India. The clean and green roads with trees and parks around it are one of the major attractions. The clean, wide roads make riding around a pleasant experience and bikes or scooters are the best way to get around. Public transportation is also pretty good in Nagpur and many people use the big red government buses for their transportation. Finally some relief. We're here on the Indian bus. We're here on the Indian bus. And as I can see, this is where they this this is where they put the white people on the back of the bus. No. Oh they don't do that. I thought they put white people on the back of the bus. Oh my bad. Okay. They don't put the white people on the back of the bus. Alright. Got it. My my bad. Just playing with you. It's a joke. It's a joke. Another popular and reasonable mode of transportation is the auto rickshaw. Oh, how we love the auto rickshaws. We're simply autos, as locals call it. Nagpur is the geographical center of India and one of India's most important railway junctions. It is a busy junction with trains for all major parts of the country passing through here. We are at the Nagpur railway station, and this is a fascinating place. About 160 trains stop here every single day. This is making it the Indies. I'm sorry, the guy behind us. It's India. What can you say? It's India. Anyway, so we're at the railway station. 160 trains stop here every single day, making it the busiest railway station in central India. Also, clothes are optional. Clothes are, clothes are optional. Being in the center of India, Nagpur has food influences from all over the country. Nagpur also has international food chains like Domino's, Pizza Hut, and KFC. And you know I like myself some KFC. But today, we're going to try some street food. Cheers. Nagpur is known all over the country and even in many parts of the world for its produce of juicy oranges. And this has earned it the nickname of being the Orange City. Nagpur has a lot of forests and tiger sanctuaries within a radius of a few hundred kilometers. In fact, Nagpur has been declared as tiger capital of the country. And people from all parts of the globe come here to get a glimpse of the king of the jungle. Nagpur is a multicultural city and people of all different religious beliefs exist in harmony in Nagpur. The several religious communities of Nagpur are Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, and Parsis. So we're here in a part of Nagpur which is 99% Muslim. In all of India, there's about 13.4% of people who are Muslim, 78% are Hindu, and about 2.3% are Christian. So every day there's a call to prayer, five times a day. And they're doing a call to prayer right now, which signifies for people in the community to come for prayer. So this is a, a very, it's a great time of the day. It's a call to prayer. We're here in the Muslim part of Nagpur. 
and it's time for prayer in Nagpur. Come to prayer. So, this is Nagpur, a city full of life, culture, and color. The people are so nice and always ready to greet you with a smile. And when you're here, make sure you hop on a scooter to truly enjoy all the fun that Nagpur has to offer. And don't be surprised if you see cows as a part of everyday traffic or even an occasional man pissing by the roadside. Never a dull moment. Woo! Wasn't that a ride? I mean, this was one heck of a ride here in Nagpur. Now you can probably see why we love being in Nagpur, India. And we want to say thank you for coming along the ride. This is uh, HF home. This is Nagpur. And uh, this is the city and the people we serve. And we thank you for helping us serve everybody you just saw. And if you all want to come and be a volunteer at the Hughes Foundation, now you know where, we, uh, where we're at. We hope to see you soon. See you next time on Scooter Camp with Jerry Hughes.